90 Day Fiancé Angela Dean is making a personal comeback. Hello lovely viewers and welcome back to Vogue America new episode with Bed L. 90 Day Fiancé star Angela Dean claims that she is making a personal comeback. She has been trying to improve herself ever since Michael Al Sami left. However, some fans are convinced that there is no way she will make a comeback. Others think she could possibly change her ways. Keep reading to find out more about this. Michael Alsami and Angela Dean were together for seven years. They spent their entire relationship trying to get Michael to the United States. However, when he made it here, he was only with Angela for three months. After that, he ran away from home. When police found him, he told them that he feared for his life. However, he has never given more details on the situation. Michael is now currently living in Texas. He has been partying it up with new people. Michael is even on a soccer team and spends most of his time with them. Is it possible these are some of the men from the group chat? Paradise Men Angela Dean shared an Instagram post on her story. It was about making a comeback and bettering yourself. She felt as though this was a way she could apologize to herself for putting up with things she shouldn't have. The caption of the post read, The post also talks about self-love, forgiveness, and self-respect. However, some fans do not think this is possible for Angela. They feel this way regardless of whether Michael is using her for a green card or not. They feel as though she is physically, mentally, and verbally abusive towards Michael. However, some people wonder if there was only one side of the story shown to fans. Maybe Michael had a lot more to do with her anger than fans saw. Regardless, it does not make what she did right. It seems that Angela is trying to better herself. She feels as though making a comeback like this would be an apology to herself for putting up with things she shouldn't have. Viewers do not know what side to be on. Angela was verbally abusive towards Michael. However, it seems like he was only with her for a green card to get into the United States. What do you think about her comeback? 90 Day Fiancé's Gino Palazzolo's rumored girlfriend identified in surprising twist. Gino Palazzolo has been spotted with a mystery woman in recent weeks amid his reported split from Jasmine Pineda. 90 Day Fiancé sleuths have been paying attention to Gino's social media activity lately, and initially, some believed that he had already found someone new after breaking it off with Jasmine. As Monsters and Critics reported, Jasmine reportedly cheated on Gino with a man named Matt Brainis, whom she met at Planet Fitness. When Gino discovered Jasmine had been unfaithful, he kicked her to the curb and out of his Michigan home. Jasmine has allegedly been living with Matt, although neither she nor Gino had spilled any tea regarding their broken marriage on social media. Subscribe to her 90 Day Fianke newsletter. Get updates on the latest posts and more from Monsters and Critics straight to your inbox. Ginob uploaded the pic to his Instagram stories in which he and the brown-haired beauty posed inside a coffee shop. In the caption, Ginob called the woman his good friend and referred to themselves as besties. Gino Palazzolo's mystery brunette companion identified as it turns out, the woman is not Gino's girlfriend, but she does, interestingly have ties to Jasmine and her rumored boyfriend. As reported by Hickey and Kivitz, the mystery woman is the ex of Jasmine's presumed current boyfriend, Matt Branis. Yes, that's right. Gino is platonically spending time with the ex-girlfriend of Jasmine's new man. Despite rumors that Gino was filming for the next season of 90 Day, The Single Life with Lemia, she claims that she is not filming for the spinoff. In fact, she says she and Gino have only met in person twice, and they are not dating. Lemia says she broke up with Matt five years ago. She added that Gino reached out to her online after he suspected that Jasmine was cheating on him. Instagram writing that Linnea and Gino are not dating, they're just newfound friends who found themselves with a lot in common. 90 Day Fiance fans had suspicions that Gino and Linnea were dating, but it didn't take long for the truth to come to the surface. SHABOTY shared screenshots of social media comments from 90 Day Fiance viewers, some of whom spilled that Linnea is, in fact, Matt's ex. Meanwhile, Jasmine has remained tight-lipped on social media about the situation, but we're sure she's dying to spill the beans herself. Perhaps the 90 Day Fiance, happily ever after? Season 8 Tell All will provide us with some answers about what really went down and fill in viewers with all of the juicy details. 90 Day Fiancé's Lauren and Alexei expecting baby no. 3. 90 Day Fiancé star Lauren is pregnant. ET can exclusively share that Lauren and her husband, Alexei, are expecting their third child together. The couple is already parents to their two sons, two-year-old Shy and eight-month-old Asher. They first starred in season three of 90 Day Fiancé, 
when Lauren met Alexei during a Birthright Israel program trip, when he was the medic for the getaway, and later got their own spin-off. Lauren and Alexei, after the 90 days. In a statement to ET, Lauren says the pregnancy was a surprise and that they're waiting to find out the baby's gender. This was quite a shock to say the least, she says. And while we're entering a whole new chapter, I'm very excited. We aren't going to find out the gender until the baby is born. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't terrified. I am. But nothing we can't handle. We can't wait to meet baby this fall. Meanwhile, Alexei tells E.T., Ong, I am so excited and scared at the same time. Three kids under the age of three is no joke. In a previous episode of Lauren and Alexei, after the 90 days, the two were in disagreement over the number of kids they wanted to have, with Alexei wanting four total. Lauren replied, The only way I would consider four kids is if by some miracle. The next time we try, it's twins. When E.T. spoke with the couple in January, they opened up about Asher being born premature and having to spend time in the NIQ. Lauren was candid about the emotional experience with her fans during the difficult period, shedding tears on Instagram. It's definitely an experience I'll never forget, and I have a whole new respect for people who go through it. Lauren said, noting that the experience taught her about having appreciation and patience, and to not have any expectations about anything. Just during the experience of it, there were expectations that were up and down and all around in disappointment. Alexei said it made him appreciate how fortunate he and Lauren are. I feel like seeing that NIQ for quite a while made me think that it could always be worse and just appreciate what you have. And you know, don't complain and take one step a day, he reflected.